Well, it'll be interesting because I, I, if I'm if I'm honest, I really just want them to square up and bite down and just wail, you know, like throw punches. That's all I want. And I, I kind of hope Aldana brings back the boxer in Holly. Like, I, you know, she's been kicking so much and she's great at that. And obviously the head kick won her the championship. But I, w- I would love her to move a little less like I hope Irene can not can cut the cage off octagon off and 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 get her to just bite down and throw down like I would love to see the last five minutes of Holloway Lamas between those two ladies you know what I mean especially to I don't know like they're both so talented like they have knockout power like I, we don't get to see that many knockouts in women's MMA so I think both of these women have the potential to do it um, they both have incredible takedown defense too though so I I think the difference maker will be, I don't know, man, who lands more, right? Because I know Holly's ground game has been getting better, um, and so maybe she would shoot for a takedown, but I believe Irene has the highest takedown defense or so. So good luck, you yeah. know, good luck. <laughs> My God, I think if, if uh, Aldana can use that boxing, man, I think for, for that weight class, she's got some of the best power in that division. And Holly's just so tricky, such a veteran with the kicks. I expect her to use a lot of side kicks, keep her at range, throw head kicks, be sneaky, and uh, mix in takedowns as well. I think we're going to see her really utilize her, her wrestling in this fight, too. Because that left hook that she landed uh, against, um, uh, she just fought this weekend. Vieta. Yeah, Vieta. I mean, oh. You don't see those kind of knockouts that often, especially from punches, right? You see it from head kicks. Obviously, you put a shin upside in somebody's head, they're going to get knocked out. But to see just a beautiful step in, left hook, and she's got some of the sickest boxing in that division. The big story is, like, if Holly has an impressive win, it's like she's not going anywhere. You know, she doesn't want to. Um, I did a a feature on her that will come out later this week, and she's like – Everybody has an opinion of a 38-year-old woman with no kids who's a professional athlete and all that stuff, you know. I, and and it just kind of um, to sit there and chat with her about like I want the belt, I want to keep fighting the best. You know, the results haven't gone my way, but I'm fighting Cyborg and Nunes and and these uh, great fighters. So to stop Aldana, if she's able to stop Aldana, I think that says a lot. And for Aldana, it's like the arrival of a new contender you know new blood because uh newness has been so good that do we have another one that gives it a go you know i think that uh you know it's kind of a bantamweight grand prix in the top six coming up this weekend it's going to be a lot of fun well what's interesting is obviously we've got holly home who was a standout boxer before she crossed over to mixed martial arts but really her strength in mixed martial arts is a kicking game and then we've got irene aldana who really uh, you know, she she models herself on a lot of those tough Mexican boxers from back in the day, and I mean we saw that in a in a fight against Caitlin Vera, that the speed at which she covered distance, that left hook that she landed, I mean, I, I like a good left hook, you know me, and I, and I can pick fault in most people's left hooks. That was pretty perfect. Like I watched it through a few times last night, slow motion, and as she lands, her hands in the right position, her hips are twisting, her feet are right. I think that she's going to try and close distance on Holly Holm and force her to box, and I think that's going to make Holly quite uncomfortable because she tends to like to book mo- uh, bookend those, uh, you know, th- that range. Although she likes boxing, her kicking game and her clinch work is really what I think she's going to be using in this fight. I think it depends on how well Aldana is able to handle Holmes' pressure. I think, uh, I think judging from Holly's fight with Megan Anderson she's probably going to try to pressure up against the fence and take her down and I think that's probably the best bet for her just because she isn't really a power puncher she likes to land points and and move a lot and Aldana proved to be pretty good against that type of striker so I I feel like to shut her down um, just getting her in the clinch getting her up against the cage uh, trying to drag her down trying to put her where no one no one's really uh, no one's really taking advantage of her yet Uh, Aldana did have pretty good ground game in some of her fights so she would have to be careful but Holmes been doing this a a bit longer than Aldana so I I feel like if she uses her veteran veteran uh, skills against her in that way uh, and just exploit the grappling department then that'd be a good way for her to get the win um, but I'm kind of rooting for Aldana like I, I want to see her fight the champ I think it would be nice to have some uh, a fresh face fighting for the title and and Aldana has power she has that cool boxing style that I love you know I, I always try to go in there and just throw hands as much as possible and um, 
and yeah Aldana has those hands she's had them for a while and I think she finally found the mark she finally found that knockout button against a girl who's never been stopped before which is even more impressive uh, so so I'm happy for her I love her origin story I love the fact that she started as an artist and then started moving towards martial arts it's like we, we have like the same like story it came up in the same like year too so uh, so part of me is rooting for her but also so, you know, Holm is a, a veteran. She's really great at what she does. So I'm, I'm just interested to see how it happens. 